Well, I think today is what date? About the 14th, 14th of November 2010. And uh, I'm here with Steve. And Steve's brought me a, a raven, I think. Yep. Um, that's what I remember from the phone call. A raven that um, is at present time unreleasable. And what's the story with it, Steve? Um, it came in about two months ago. Yep. Um, it's had some treatment. It's had a course of antibiotics, Batril. Yep. Yes. And it's been dewormed. Yes. Lately, it's been getting a bit worse, I'd say. In um, what respect? Um, open mouth breathing. Yep. Um, it's got poor vocalisation. Yes, so its voice is affected. Yes. Yep. And it, it seems to have a little bit of fluid in its upper respiratory tract. Oh, okay. It's got Fine. plenty of kick. Okay. Mm. Aren't you a beautiful birdie? Yes, eh? it's lovely. Only a baby. The eyes yeah. haven't coloured up yet and we've still got quite a bit of pink around the corner of the beak. And um, the feather loss on the wings, is that just from uh, abrasion and so forth in its cage or No, it, it's or always had feather loss on these edges on, here, on, on, always. On both there? And yeah, there. Yep. the oh. raggedy other feathers is because I think it's it spends a lot of time on the ground chasing my toes. Right. Um, were these feathers... Oops. Hey, matey. <laughs> That's all right. Hey? That's all right. You can fly. Okay. He's, fly a bit. he's a good okay. flyer, he just gets puffed out. He gets puffed out. Yeah. Right. Alrighty. Um, the, the bands across his tail feathers, I don't know if you've noticed all these, but they're relevant. Um, you see all these fault lines across here? Yes. Um, yes. Did he come with those? With that? Was his tail fully developed when you got him? No, he was, he was um, quite, small. Uh, quite a bit smaller. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Sometimes yes and sometimes no. Yeah, right. I've just yeah. been doing that physical work. Hey, got a sweater and just calm down a little bit. Okay. Alright, well what I'll do is I'll get on with the physical examination and then you'll sure, thanks. and then we'll just work with him quietly. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check the shoulder. I just want to check what's going on here. Uh, check the elbow, check the wrist. And there's a uh, a problem with his bit of a problem with his thumb. Um, but, all right, just quietly, quietly, quietly. Just quietly. Okay, that's all right there. Okay, all the feathers have lots of fault lines across them. Uh, there's a banding, banding uh, across the feathers, and yes. some feathers are much worse than others. These, these ones here have got uh, lots of faults in them. Yes, I see that. Right. Yeah. So that's a dietary problem. Is that um, it is or? often dietary. Um, that's a, a blood quill. I want you to watch the development of that feather in particular and see if it grows out over the next two or three weeks. Right? In other words, grows out okay. lengthwise. Right? Yeah. If it's not growing out, um, I'd like you to catch me again when I come back from overseas in a couple okay. of weeks' time yeah. and give me a report. Okay. Masses and masses of fault lines, huh? Yeah. See all these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, and they've extended over a period of a month or so. It just hasn't been a short period of time. So you've right. got fault lines from, right? And yeah. then the more recent feathers have grown quite well, right? So that part, that part of the feather grew, the part out of the tip of the wing grew before the part here. Does that make sense? This part of the feather was forming yep, yep. Early, at a younger age than this part. Sure. So yep. we've got a history where he went through 
some weeks of crisis there. Yep. Right? Yep. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Task quietly. Task quietly. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, okay. He does not look anemic. Alright, so that's the next thing we notice. Okay. Open wide. That's Open. plenty of pink in the palette. Yeah, he's got plenty, you know, so uh, one of the causes of birds being short of breath is anemia in various from various reasons from blood parasites from blood loss from internal bleeding from kidney failure from a lot of different things and i'm just going through the process of sure. search right great okay okay no. now do you know what he's been wormed with uh Hello. no it was right. it was just done moxidectin or i, I or think the so. or no, i think it was all right, okay, all right, well, we'll, that we'll be having a look a bit further. That rings a bell. Okay, we can't see any worms in that uh, in that part there, okay? Yeah. Yep. Now, things that cause uh, an altered voice, the, these feathers here are also of interest to me, in that I want these feathers here to mature, in other words, to lose their sheep over the next two to four weeks. Okay. Right? Yep. Yep. If they're staying like that, I'm already rather suspicious of what we call raven circovirus mm. um, which is a bit similar to um, the beak and feather disease, cytosine beak and feather disease is in it? the sulfur crested cockatoos, the right. other parrots and so forth okay. and um, which is very difficult Dr Shane Raydell and I um, discovered, well, I, I had some cases that I suspected were, beak and, uh, were the equivalent of beak and feather disease in ravens and I, we sent off a case, I sent off a case to Dr. Shane Raydell, mm -hmm. uh, who was then at Murdoch University, and he um, is uh, now at James Sturt University, professor there. But anyway, he um, confirmed that the raven was infected with circovirus, right. and he has actually, with his team, he has typed the DNA of the circovirus and found mm -hmm. that it is a different circovirus from the cockatoo one. Right. But we've now sequ he's now sequenced that. Mm. Uh, but anyway, circovirus does affect our native ravens. Yeah, right. Yeah. And this Which, one, this one, because of the feather loss on the on the on the wing tips and and the feather changes in there, and, and the fact that some of these feathers don't haven't matured, is a bit sus. Right. Did this birdie have any trouble walking when you first got it? Yes. yes. Has it been X-rayed? No. No. Is it possible? I think it is highly possible that's had broken legs on both sides. Right. Mm -hmm. I need to, anyway, there is a lump there that I don't remember being just there, um, like a callus, and there is a lump here. And as if there's been a break there and there. Okay. It's not recent, it's old. It's an old yeah. break, like a green stick yeah. fracture. Right. That's what it feels like, but it may be normal raven anatomy, I don't remember that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the birds are so different. Alrighty. His, um, his, his, well, it's walking well now though. Yeah, so. yeah, sure. Okay. Now, we'll just give him a bit of a rest and then we're going to get a stethoscope. Matey, matey, just calm. Calm, calm. You have a bit of a rest. Eh? Yeah, you're a bit hot, aren't you? Right here, yes darling. And it's recording, yeah. That's all. I know.